So what is being expressed is in this apparent tapestry of apparent existence beholds this wondrous revelation that everything that unfurls are seemingly emanating from this mysterious wonder. This sourceless mystery can be called by many different names, but deserving of none. And even the assumption that is nothing is a far, far stretch. Coming into conclusion or a position, even when it claims a non-position, seems, may seem to be attempting something that is futile because it implies separateness from this mysterious boundlessness. Can mere words encapsulate this essence of what which transcends any identity? Should there be an attempt to articulate the ineffable? <laughs> so abandoning any kind of like linguistic constructs, any words that appears of going back and forth of this or not this, and seemingly immersing in this profoundness that there's no separation that exists, that there's no polarity that appears. Although it seem, seems to appear as anything, even a polarity or separation, nothing, everything, whatever seems to come into mind. But there's no mind that come, come up with this. And there's also no no mind that can come up with this because that would be an impossibility. So this unknowable vitality, this impersonal presence, impersonal presence, <laughs> um, let's call it mysterious aliveness or wondrous mystery for this apparent appearance seemingly dances in ecstatic union with every facet of appearance. This perception seemingly interwoven with everything that is seen, heard, touched, smelt, tasted. It is not an observer, not a passive observer. It is not a witness. It is inseparable from all of that. It cannot be separated. It's inherently whole and complete with everything that appears, with everything that seems to materialize. I was talking to someone before. We're talking about the senses, the, the wondrous appearance of it all, even the artificiality of the separation that seems to create this, I smell silence. I see silence. <laughs> Everything is silence. But again, that's just we're trying to express something that there seems to be an observer or an experiencer of what cannot be experienced. Although it's interwoven or it is, it is in the experience, but there's no experiencer behind it. It's in everything. There's no source. There's no source to go to. It's not something that's missed. It's in everything. So this mysterious aliveness seamlessly melds with everything. It could be in the symphony of sounds in the room. It could be in the silence. It's in the emotions that rises back and forth. It's in everything. Even the appearance of thoughts, although there's not thought that seems to come and go like tides or clouds, it's encompassing. It's all encompassing. The very essence from which all things seems to merge um, it's in the breathing. It's in everything. It's in deep sleep. It's in blackout. It simultaneously expresses itself in everything, including death. But there's no death. There's no everything. There's no you. Although there's a felt sense of separation of a you that seems to seemingly experience all of these encounters. It's like a poetic fusion with nothing and everything, but there's no nothing and there's also no everything. It's like an illusory entanglement of what is inherently whole and complete already. Wow. It's in everything, but it's also nothing. But that's saying too much because there's really no opposites. There's no really everything. There's really no nothing. It's an illusory experience, like a passionate love affair with every appearance. It cannot be separated. It cannot be seen as a me or a no me. It's in everything. It's from the very visceral sensation from that something in your gut. It's from the appearance of thoughts 
the vibrancy of disappearance as life. It's in the question. It's in the answer. It's in the who are you, but there's no you to answer that. But it's also the you that seemingly seems to come up with answers about what this is. It's in the echoes. <laughs> it's in the negative. It's in the positive. It's in everything that's fluttering in and out. There's no need to witness any of this because it is not apart from anything. It's in the transient and what seemingly seems to be permanent. It cannot be comprehended because it does not need to be comprehended. It, there's no solidity to it. It's like a cosmic theater, but there's no audience. It's this openness, this directness, that gentle gaze that there's nothing needed, that innocence, that laughter, that falling down on your knees saying, why? It's in all of that. It's in the entirety of every existence. But there's no you in that totality. But in the totality, it also includes a you. So it's not about diminishing or negating or getting rid of, of anything that already is. It's not about eliminating. It's not about dropping. It already is. It's in the sounds, it's in the sense, it's in the thoughts, it's in the sensations. Yet, paradoxically, it's not, none of that at all. So it's in everything that you experience, but there's no you that's experiencing this because it's an illusion. It's in everything. It's in everything. It's neither even solely dualistic or singular because it's in everything. It's not a singularity because that just lands into another position. So it can't really be talked about, but yet here it is being talked about nonstop, being articulated, being expressed that there's nothing to get, that it already is the case, that it's the sweetness of this drink that I'm drinking. It's the sweetness of seeing all of you, although there's no you that I'm seeing. It's the interaction that will seemingly appear in the questions. But all of that, all of that beautiful dance is already what is. So there's really no audience. There's no, no, no one that is being seen here that has anything important to say. It's just whistleblowing that everything is already. And this wondrous appearance that sur surpasses any comprehension there's a curiousness of what seems to be appearing, and that curiousness seems to appear as questions, confusion, desire, longing for something that already is. But again, any kind of experience, any kind of appearance that seemingly come from a source like a you is an illusion. But it's also not in about thinking that there is a no you because that's just another illusion because whoever drums up anything is an illusion. It's like an illusion coming up with another illusion. So to plainly clear everything out, this mysterious wonder, this ineffable, this ungrockable what isness is appearing already as it is. It's direct, it's direct, it's direct. There's nothing to find. There's nothing to long for, even though there is a finding or longing. That's also it. It cannot be separated from anything because it's an appearance of something that cannot appear. It's the form of something that is formless. It's the solidity of something that cannot be grasped. It's the love that cannot be owned. It's the peace that passes all understanding. It is what is already. It cannot be named, but here it is yapping out in names and it's being listened to in words. This seeming going back and forth, the surging and the waning, the enduring persistence of this wanting to get something that already is. Even that vigilance of trying to get something is also it. Or the seeming kind of like, I give up, that's also it. So there's nothing that's missing. Everything is already whole and complete in this appearance of this time that seemingly 
moving from linearity from here to there. What's next? How will I get this? Is also it. It's already this and appearing as this already. And there's nothing that can be done. Even if doing seems to happen, that's also it. So seeking is futile because what's being sought for is already this. If you have any questions, please go ahead. <laughs> Cheers. Can you talk about the seer and the scene? There's really no seer in the scene, but there seems to be um, like a, a fusion, like a poetic, like wondrous fusion of what seems to be the scene and the seer. It's singular. It's also none. So meaning that it's not really separate. What is looking at is also it. What's being looked at is also it. So there's no subject and object. It's just an appearance. But even the appearance that there is a subject and object is also it. So it cannot be separate from whatever is already appearing, including the thoughts of what is appearing. But there's no certainty. There's no landing. There's no position. And again, talking in words just seemingly creates this opposition. But it's all of this and none of this simultaneously. It's just basically constructs in, you know, in, in words that seems to create this opposition when what is directly being expressed cannot be expressed in words um, because it is in everything. It's in the silence. It's in the words. It's in the accent. <laughs> it's the inflection. It's in the impossibility and the possibility of what seems to be all encompassing. I still like that word all-encompassing, by the way. <laughs> when you say everything is an illusion, do you mean it doesn't exist or it does exist, but not the way we think it does? Yes, that's a beautiful question because it does not really, it's not in what we think what an illusion is because there's no us thinking because the illusion is asking the question, is this an illusion? The illusion that there's no illusion, it's already this. <laughs> it's not in any way that can be captured. Again, it will be a really crappy illusion if it seemingly shows that it's an illusion. So reality and illusion is like a fusion, a poetic fusion of what is. No escape, yes. What is seems not to be because it changes all the time. The attention, the identity, the scenery, the feelings, the beliefs, etc. Yes. It's like a it's like an ebbing and flowing of what is. But the ebbing and flowing, like cosmic tides, basically is an illusion. But what seems to move also doesn't move. It's like a simultaneous exposure that everything is alive and dead at the same time. Thank you, Mats. <laughs> Likewise. Matt goes, I like the shitty illusion analogy. Yep. Hey, 
Hey, Catherine. Hello. 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 What was I going to say? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's gone. <laughs> oh. Exactly. It's gone. Just like what I was saying, it ups and flows and it's really nothing. <laughs> yes. Oh my gosh, that's silly. <laughs> comes back I'll erase the hand again okay good to see you though <laughs> you too nothing matters yes I'm Raleigh. yes I remember now oh perfect go ahead so yes yeah, so the, the the thought is uh if I can get this, then I'll be okay. That's you know, right. And There's... of the, the lived the nightmare or, 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 you know, the ups and downs and the valley. It's just this, this idea, it's just a, a, a belief or an idea that once I get what Emerson's got, and, and it doesn't matter what you say, because it doesn't matter what you say, because only what is heard is heard. Yes. You know, uh, and but it's just it, and you at that same time, it's just what's happening now. It's just this frustration. Yes, it's it's another. It's, oh yeah, once I get that, I'll be okay. That's it's right. Such yeah. Such an um, and it get, can even appear as the opposite. I got it, but another okay, thought will come in. It could appear as the opposite, right? It could be, right. I got this already. And whatever is being said, you know what I'm saying, thinks that it, it it's getting what it's being said, but but it's not about getting it or not getting it. It's just an opposition. It's whatever seems to appear. Again, it's an entanglement um, that cannot be disentangled. It's in everything, right? What this wondrous mystery. I'm trying to come up with different names and I'm running out. This wondrous mystery that does not have a source is in everything. It's in the, I'm not going to get it. Or when I get it, and that's also it. So it cannot, um, but what seems to appear in that idea that when I get what Emerson's saying is that it it creates another, meaning that- Yes, it, it creates that separation. The next, <laughs> the next, yeah. When I get this, you know? It's, you know, I'm thinking of uh, an elastic that you pull out. Yeah. <laughs> And I get this. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, when uh, I get this, anyway, uh, it's and just then it snaps sometimes, right? <laughs> <laughs> and then, and then, if you fall asleep, there's none of that. That that completely disappears. There's there's no longing. There's yes, no, exactly. You know, yeah, it already is, right? It already is. Yeah. So the the um the um uh, reset button or the um the um not the reset button because there's nothing to reset the um um. Not the original state, what already, what always is, what is permanently is that it's already. So there's nothing that yeah. is, it's it's a permanence, you know what I'm saying? It's a, it's a constancy that everything is already it, no matter what seems to appear, no matter what seems to be questioned, no matter what seems, because it's in everything. It's all the questioning. It's on all in all. I liked uh, how you say this all encompassing. Yeah, I because like it Because it's too. not one one thing that's right and one thing that's wrong. Exactly, it, it's exactly. Yeah. See, that's the confusion sometimes that appears is that there seems to be a, um, you know, either a position of, um, you know, everything or nothing, right? So, and it cannot, and when when it when it seems to, um. See, I'm just going to mute someone. Oh, good, good. Yes. When there is a um um an understanding, right, or a defending, then it creates this. It it separates again, right, in this experience. But, but it can't. But it can't be stopped. That's I just know, what yeah. comes up. Because you know? and and that's also what is. That's what the, yeah. you know. What's also yes. being, I like the entanglement thing. It's like yeah, it's entangled. You cannot dis yeah. entangle it, right? It's just yeah, it's yeah. just whatever it is. Um, mm -hmm. it's and it's beautiful in in that it that that there's no aloneness really. 
right? That it's it's not um it's neither alone or not alone. It's inherently complete. It's yeah. inherently whole and complete. I mean, even the idea of separation is that's complete as well. Is that as well? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. And it's quite fascinating, yeah. right? Because as I said in the intro, that we can come up with all of this linguistic, you know, articulation about something that cannot be articulated. And then and then all of a sudden there's a stuckness that happens because it becomes kind of like, okay, it's it's this, you know what I'm saying? And then there's a wrong. The moment that there is someone right, there's someone wrong. Yes. So it's all encompassing. I mean, it's quite funny, really, <laughs> because it's, if it's viewed as one, and it, it can appear as two different faces. Exactly, but both are thought. Different voices, and it's a monologue, but it appears as a, a, a conversation or, or, or yeah. whatever. It is. <laughs> <laughs> or an argument. Or an argument. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I mean, the, the, the argument is with oneself, really. It's like, it, it, this, because, like, I'm so special, you know. I'm the <laughs> one who's blocking. <laughs> yeah, but that's also it, see? But... That's also it. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> Until it's seen that the entanglement does not really have any choice. Because yeah, it is what it is. No, it, it's and regardless. It's not really, yeah, not really yeah. either. That's right. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Wild, you. huh? Wild. Just in case if somebody else wants to. Yeah, no worries. <laughs> Thank you, Catherine. Thank you, Emerson. Lovely to see you. Oh, lovely to see you too. Hi, Gunver. Hello. 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 Can you hear me? Yes. Yeah, I can. Okay. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can. Hi, Emerson. Hello. Oh, I just rose my hand to uh, to apologize for my mailing you. I was really pushing oh, my mails. That's uh, okay. After that's the okay. after the weekend, because paranoia really came, and um, but it's been seen like what you just explained actually to to Catherine that it's just playing out. There's no one yeah. that can stop it or yeah. Or, the paranoia is also it's it's also what is. You know yeah. what I'm saying? It's so it's yeah. so beautiful, right? Because it can never be dismissed. It can never be. It can never be apart from anything. No, and at the same time, it it plays out, and there's still something that sort of like goes with it in in a sense of a belief. Um, yeah. Although it's not um, happening for anyone. Yeah. There's still a sense that it's happening for somebody, and yeah. and. At the same time, it it's just like an ebbing and flowing, right? You know, because you don't think like that all the time. You know, saying it, no. it can like goes, comes and goes, right? Yeah. It's kind of like, what the hell? But yeah, but there's maybe this idea here that that this should be gone, like uh, like I explained to you before. It's like it goes away, and then there's no um, memory of it, and then all of a sudden it's there. Yeah, and then it's like, why is this coming? Uh, so there's still something that's sort of like, um, and that's okay too. Yeah, that's also it, right? So when 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 it's seen that it's in everything, then the, the who cares, you know, kind of like level, you know, yeah. saying it's, it's like yeah. you know, seemingly takes over. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of like, oh, that's also it. That's also it, right? Because when there is a positioning, kind of like. <gasps> Oh, it's back again. Then it it creates this this waves again of of you know identity and everything that how yeah. come it happened to him and everything. Even if that comes and it and it usually usually dissipates or usually disappears completely. Kind of like when Catherine was trying to ask a question, you know, what seemingly important that you raise your hand is gone. You know, usually within within a few yeah. moments. Yeah. Yeah. So and what what anyway. what is constant is the silence or the emptiness or what can never be named that's always there. And actually, that silence is is very present also. It's, yeah, it it's, is. It's, it's uh, um, it's constant, it's, isn't it? Yeah, it's constant. Yeah. Although that this whatever came came. Yeah, and it was quite sort of like, yeah, let's say 
quite something yeah. meaning in the face but yeah i just okay. wanted to apologize that's really oh, what that's I okay because, that's no, okay and like, eventually and eventually the silence becomes louder than anything that comes up right you know it's kind of like uh, the silence kind of like for example paranoia comes and the silence seems to drown that right it's it will still come up you know what i'm saying and then it just drowns it because there's really silence and paranoia are the same it's just being seen in a, in a different perspective but is is it, this is sort of like a just a question and it's maybe coming from the character but is paranoia something that rises from a particular storyline or uh I mean, it's just, there's it's lots just of an appearance. Lines, so, yeah. It's 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 just an appearance, you know. What I'm saying sometimes when there is a there is a you know um a, an undeniable silence, the seeming storm becomes louder. Sometimes it seems to fight back as paranoia. Kind of like what I say, it go, goes into a boomerang because it does not want um to not exist. So it appears yeah. as paranoia. It appears as whatever. But the illusory individual or the separate character seems to fight back. In the story, anyway. Yeah, because it seemed to be linked up to a certain story. Because something, it's a certain storyline that's being triggered when something doesn't seem to fit the narrative. Uh, yeah. 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 So, so that's why I'm asking this question. But um, like, like this, I don't know how to let go of the storyline. Yeah. If if but what what if there's really no storyline? So what is it that's rising? It's this just is, what is. It's okay. the yeah, it's just the mysterious again with trying to figure out, right? Trying to figure out something just perpetuates that seeking that there's something to figure out. And it's the seeking waves coming again, right? And then when it's seen that when it gets caught up in that kind of like tornado and that, that spiral, then it creates this this um this appearance or this this seeming kind of like um, you know, um how do you say it, this cycle. The cycle has been broken, right? Because it's just silence overflowed, and then seemingly there is a, uh, you know, an, an appearance of um, something that wants to become real again. So it's almost like a fight of real and unreal, real and unreal, real. But there's no such thing as real or unreal. It's just what is. Yeah, yeah. and also I would like to say that there was a lot of silence after the weekend and yeah. and a clear seeing. So I think what you just said is is. Uh, you know, all of a sudden, you just want to fight back like, yeah. with every weapon it can throw. You know, yeah, it, it, so. It, it, it's so funny, right? Because you know, it's 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 it boomerangs back, right? It almost yeah. like comes back mm. in full force, right? It's kind of like mm. a because it has been caught empty-handed, then it comes back with more stuff. How about this? How about that? How about this? But that's also what is. Okay. Uh, yeah. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. No worries. Hey, Cecilia. Hello. Hello, Emerson. How are Hello. you? Hello. I'm good. Good, good. Really good. What about, I think you already answered the question with what you were explaining. However, I still have, what about the sense, like sensing to be in waiting yeah, Waiting. that's oh, of course. So the the apparent, you know, the apparent illusion of separation can only appear in separation. So the appearance of waiting is separation because there's a next. Rather than seeing this as inherently whole and complete already, then it looks for the next to happen. It longs for what is not. Um, this is already as it is. It's looking for something. It negotiates, right? So in the negotiation, in the appearance that it's waiting, that it creates its reality as solidity. So it's maintaining for something to happen, but it, it it's not going to happen because it has no one to happen it to. It's already the case. So it's like it's like when someone is exposed that you're not really there, and then rather than saying, okay, you got me, it's like, I want to see it happen. <laughs> I want to nice. witness it. I want to witness me me fall away or disappear. It's already not there. So when is it going to happen? You're already not there. <laughs> There's going to be feelings. And again, even that feelings of, of, you know, of waiting for something is also it. Again, it's, it's like a passionate love affair with what already is. 
right? It appears as this longing and desiring and everything. And it's beautiful because it's in everything. So the, the profoundness of it is that this unknowable love, you know, seems to take everything away, but it also gives everything. Yeah, I so, was watching TV and then I was like, oh, I have the sense like I'm waiting for something. Yeah, you know? and, yeah, yeah. Um, it's like an unrequited lover. You know what I'm saying? It's waiting to be loved, but it's already loved. Because there's no other love. There's just this love. And another question raised uh, last night when I was watching uh, TV, um, and that I had that, that uh, I don't know, realization that I, I had the waiting thing. But then it came like, it's only this. Yeah. This. Um, and then I said, but what about that? That's then the this. question came like, this is in my four walls or is everything? Like if I'm watching news, it's happening there or the broadcasting is happening, but nothing else. Could you talk about that? I think yeah. I'm very so careful. let's just, yeah, just, just go into story mode, right? So if everything is a simulation, the one that is looking out is also a simulation. If everything is a hologram, everything is holographic, including your thoughts, including your vision, including your smell, including your whatever seems to appear. So what the hologram is, is also what is. So there's really no separation. So what you're looking at is also what is. Because what seems to be seen, the seen and the seer are kind of like fused it's like a poetic fusion of something that seemingly seems separate, like the object subject, but not really separate. It cannot be separated. And it's beautiful if you look at it. Like I'm looking at you right now, but there's no you that I'm looking at. There's no me that's looking at. There's no looking at even. It's just this... It, this all-encompassing that does not require a witness or a witnessed. Everything is already. So there's this, it's kind of like, you know, we seem to think of here and there, but what if that is circular, meaning that there's no end to that? What you're looking at is looking at you. It's, it's just, there's no separation. Even the air that's around you is already what is. Let's just, let's just put it in story mode again. You are everything, but there's no you. Because everything is already everything. Because it's if all it's just everything, basically, right? So if you say that, well, who is this me that's witnessing everything then? It's just everything being everything. And again, words are just using an opposition. It's going to say, how about nothing and everything? Again, like you know, like all of this linguistics and this word play and everything just creates this separateness of what cannot be separated because it's in everything. You know, a few, a few weeks, a few months ago, I had a dream that like the nothing came to like a big bubble. Yeah. And that everything was holograms, everything, even this character. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But then, you know, it, it was, impressive to dream because I, when i woke up i was like wow oh, oh, <laughs> yeah. wow everything is that's a wild dream i was like wow yeah, like, wow if everything yeah. you know it's like just holograms but did you really wake up or you're waking up was holographic as well <laughs> <laughs> was, was the dream also a hologram was the hologram having a dream of holograms yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> okay. Hanifa, hello. Hello. Can you hear hello, me? Hanifa. Yes, can you hear me? I can't see you. You have to um open up your camera. 
if you want to be seen, of course. Hello, can you hear me? Yeah. yeah, I can hear you, but I can't see you. And that's okay. okay. I can hear you. Okay, thank you. Um, I just have a, a question. Um, when there is no more I, and I understand that um, there is no I already, <laughs> uh, but the question is, uh, what happens to the relationship, and especially with the family, with the children, with the... Um, well, there's no I in the first place, right? So it's already the case. So what you might call a relationship is just what is. It's, it's, it's going to be either good or bad, you know what I'm saying? It's just what is. But seemingly, you know, for this, um, I can only speak from this character, this seeming character when there was just this wholeness, so to speak. The, the relationship seemingly, you know, especially with, with my friends, my old friends and my, my family seemed to be more um, stunning. Because what is looking at, it's, it's, although, again, all, everything is, is an illusory experience. So what seemingly is um, being encountered, although there's no encounterment, is just what is having a relationship with what is. So there's really no relationship. It's just wholeness appearing as relationships, appearing as my mom, appearing as my dad. But if you really look at it, there's really no one else. Mm -hmm. There's really no others. It appears as, you know, mom or dad or brother or sister. Mm -hmm. But it's just in loveness with what is. So I used to have a lot of fights with my brothers and my sister and my mom and dad. That hasn't really happened um, for five years or six years. Mm -hmm. There's no point. But even if that happens, that's also no point. But there's less friction seemingly, right? Because it does not see um, a separation yeah, and I, actually, um, I guess that as far as I can understand, um, we realize that, um, I don't know if the, the term realize is good, but... Um, That's okay. It's, it's a story, right? So it's a story, yeah. So the relationship is a story because there's really no no separation for what, what, what the relationship is. It's just a directness appearing as, you know, um, appearances of others in relations like uh, blood or whatever seems to appear. Mm. Thank you, Emerson. Thank you, Anifa. Thank you. Mr. Mark. <laughs> Hi. How's it going? It's going all right. Good. <laughs> um, well, I guess it's just this sense of like, do I start? Can you hear me, Roy? Speak louder. I want to switch. Is, is it okay now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I guess it's just this sense of like the seriousness that just keeps coming up away. Like it's right and wrong. Yeah. So, um, so, so there is really no right and wrong, but there's going to be an appearance of right and wrong. Right. So it's uh it doesn't mean that there is no seriousness or there is whatever. What seems to appear is what is. So if everything is what is, you know, so even a feeling of right or wrong is also what is, even seriousness is what is. So what's wrong with it? Is seriousness right or wrong? No. There you go. <laughs> Why so serious? <laughs> The Joker. The Joker. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's just whatever seems to be appearing is what what it is, right? So if there is a strong sense of being right or a strong sense of being wrong, that's also what is. The seriousness that appears is just be there is a seeming preference of what should be wrong and what should be right, which is also what is. But when it's seen that, it does not matter what the preference is to be right or wrong or to be serious or not serious because it's always going to be what is 
then it's just going to appear as whatever it is. So there seems to be kind of like a relaxation about that. This character used to be righteous, righteous. You know, like I would watch everyone that was eating. That's wrong food that you're eating. That kind of thing. And, and that, that seemed really heavy and serious. So when that seemed to have unraveled seemingly and not really mattering and everything, um, if my mom is praying the rosary, praying to God, I respect that. There's nothing wrong or right about that, right? It's just what is. If um, if my little you know my little nephew is getting into some some um, mischief and everything, that's also what is. So there's no more correcting right yeah, or wrong, you know, because it's just what is. Yeah. Mm. So it becomes less serious and less involved in what seems to appear because it's none of my business because there's no me in the business anymore. There's no me business anymore. <laughs> I don't know if that makes sense, right? There's no me to be better or not anymore because usually stems from being a righteous person is because you think you're better. Mm. Or not feeling good enough so you want to be better. Oh. Exactly. Yeah, or or self improvement, right? Kind of like when there is a less than or a more than, then it's a, it's basically not being good enough. Yeah, yeah. But it's, it's like then I feel like I wouldn't have decided to do anything or any ambition or you know. Well, that's just another thought that coming up that seems to create a story. <laughs> you know that's not true too, right? <laughs> I've heard this I've heard this question before. <laughs> it's an excuse. <laughs> Working hard also is what is. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Um you know um going for what you want is also what is. Although everything is an appearance, everything is an illusion. Right? So for example, if if um you know with with your business and everything with your graphics and everything, whatever it is is what is. So laziness is also what is, but also working at it, also what is. There seems to be no decision, but decision appears, which is also what is. Yeah. All right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you, Mark. Thanks. Thank you. Um, it's like one big infinite light show. Yes. Holographic seems to be the possibility of everything. But in the speaking, there is a position that seemingly presents as the beneficiary of the expansiveness of the appearance. All there is. Yeah, there's really no um, there's really no position. It's just say that the entirety is holographic, meaning that there's no one witnessing the hologram because witnessing is also holographic. So an all-encompassing all holographic appearance so to speak, not for you, not for another, it's just what is. And again, using words like holographic, simulation, dream, seemingly creates this idea that there's something that needs to be figured out. What's being expressed here is that since it is a hologram, a dream, or a, a simulation, the one that's asking the question is also a simulation. The one that's asking the question is also holographic. It does not create. There's no way out of the hologram because that will be another hologram. It's kind of like, how can you tell if, if, um, if, if, um, if this is a hologram? You will not be able to because all these words that are appearing is holographic. All of the questions are holographic. And again, just using words that seems to appear as, uh, you know, as, as an appearance of an assumption, but it cannot be assumed. What is really obvious is that there is just this radiance that is mysterious that does not have a source that does not have a beginning does not have an end that cannot be caught up in words or a belief system because it creates this position that someone's got it is this my best zoom meeting because i don't understand anything hey <laughs> 
It's the love you refer to is the one the individuals know and understand. No, again, the love that is being expressed is, is the unknowable love, right? It's so profound, right? Because it seems to, you know, give everything, but paradoxically also destroys everything. It's not the love, you know, it's unconditional. It's unthinkable. But it's this. I use love sparingly sometimes because it becomes this personal idea of what love is or, or, an, or, or a, a defi defined already. It's like the sun, for example. The sun, you know, seemingly is always there. Even at night, it's always there. But the sun, when it ends, it takes away everything. <laughs> so it's seemingly kind of like is giving life to everything. But when the sun ends, it will destroy everything. So it shows that this is an illusion, but also destroys the illusion. Ta-da. Hi, Emerson. I like that you're always changing directions and moving around and confusing and clarifying just like what is. It looks like that seemingly there are a lot of people that speaks about this but are stuck in their own languaging. There are really no others. So this swirling, this appearance of words and everything, um, although not intentional, is just an expression of something that cannot be grasped. So it goes with the flow of that. It seems to go in and out, you know what I'm saying? It, it's, it gives and it takes away because there's nothing that can be grasped here. There's nothing that can be comprehended. And it's not pretending that it, that, that it had no something. It's actually exposing that nothing can be known. Not by this and not by that. Thank you. Sheer. Hi, Sheer. Hello. Hello, Sheer. Hello. Hello, Good to hello. see you. It's, I can't see you, though. But... Same. Same. <laughs> you cannot see because it's very dark. It's very dark. dark. Yeah. That's okay. Yes, yes. What time is it there, Sheer? Yeah, it is it's, uh, 10 to 10. Okay, okay. Yeah. So I think to ask you about one thing, thinking and things. They are actually all, all the same. Yeah. Because Thinking if there is not, because if there is not a one thing, there cannot be a thinking either. So things and thinking, they can be, is the same. If you don't want a thing, so there cannot be a thinking either. That's yeah. Just it, it's, it's, it's just an appearance. Yeah. All of it, all of it, right? It's the same thing. Yeah. Yeah. It's the same thing. And I, yeah, yeah. And then I think to share uh, uh, one situation. You know, last time when we had uh, this meeting, when you had this meeting, I just listened to to the to the message to this to you are talking. I mean, yeah. My my son, he, uh, he operated his kidney stone. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, and, he, and I was very much in worry. And I went in his room, from my room to his room, and I, to ask him how he is, I, I have just a memory of that moment. Yeah, that there was there was really no one, no one inside, you know. Yeah, something like that. I, it's just a, it's just a body. It's just a shade. I don't know. He went there. Yeah, yeah. And and he asked, and he come and sit, and then I come and sit on my chair. I just sweat, you know. Oh and, wow! And I. 
in the same time, yes, it was amazing, you know. At yeah. the same time, I did listen to, to you, you know, to this message. I just want to share this. Oh, beautiful. It's it's that non-separateness, right? You know, that there's an appearance of a body, but it's hollow. Yes, it's yeah. just a, like, a, like there was no... There is there was no me, you know. It's, yeah. it's just it looks uh, a body go share go to his son, and it's something I cannot explain it really. That's it. When you can't explain yeah. it, that's it. <laughs> yeah, you know, it, and it, it's, and now it's make me just wonder. Nothing else. It's just wonder and yeah. that memory. Uh, yes, yeah. but it was amazing, you know, amazing. Uh, and I did listen to you completely. I, I went there. I remember it, everything, you know. But I, I know in that moment that there was really no one. Yeah. It's funny, right? Because, Sometimes some people that have been listening for quite a while and they'll call me and they'll be like, there's no Emerson. Yeah. <laughs> I can't find Emerson. And like that's, it, it goes, I, I can't even figure it out. I don't know why I'm saying that, but there's no Emerson. And there's also no Sheer. Yeah. Yeah. So it's just the unknowingness, you know, unknowing. Yeah. 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 Thank you very much. Thank, thank you for sharing, Sheer. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, I'm glad your son is okay, right? Yeah, he's, yeah. he's okay. Well, that's painful, okay. though. Kidney stone is painful. Yeah, it's very, that's why, you know, because the, the kidney stone is very, very, it's not a dangerous thing, but it's very, Painful. Badly painful. And he's yeah. young, so you have life to do, you know. So, yeah. <laughs> so I that's basically ready, but... that's basically like seeing peace. You are seeing peace in whatever. Yeah, it's uh, it's much love, but uh, with a pain, you know. But this is what this is. As... Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. yeah. Well, thank you, Thanks sure. a lot. Thank, thank you. you very much. Thank, thank you. you. Oh, what happened there? Past memory keeps trying to remind me of who I used to be. It tempts me, but I don't want to believe it anymore. Will it ever stop? So I can just be who I am, no past, no future, just this. So the um, the seeking for who I am creates this illusory of who you're not. So it's just another position. So even you know trying to figure out who I am right away, creates this opposition, but what is cannot be an I or a no I, no am or no not am, no me or not no me, it's just this. It's not conceptualized, right? Because a concept of me or a concept of no me, a concept of a past of I used to be, and you know the future of who I can become or who I really am are all concepts. It's just concept. So running around in concept will just produce more concepts. So what seems to appear in this directness, there's no you, but you're the one that's being talked about here. Not the you that you think of, but these all-encompassing what isness. It's talking directly to itself, expressing that there's no separation there's no in individual there's nothing to need to improve so what seems to be appearing is just what is appearing as what it is it's just this seeming overflow of thoughts or not that seems to create this past or future but there's no you in the past and there's no you in the future so the concept can only exist in concept when all of it is seemingly just shown as just as it is, meaning that there's no opposition or no other. It already is. And the seeming denial of what is creates this illusory idea of what I used to be and what I should be. So rather than you know expressing, it's seeing the fullness, the inherent completeness of what is already being directly addressed 
although there's no one to address, it's just directness to directness, it already is the case. There's no you to figure out who you are. Is there no you in the past that needs to change or future you that needs to improve? It already is. Ta-da. <laughs> it's just this. So is it all the question here? So is it also in sadness? Yes. 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 <laughs> like everything, it transpires and recedes. Right. So there's an all-encompassing openness to whatever it is, right? It it's it's everything is allowed, including that sadness, including that longing, including that wanting. It's just what is. This aliveness, mysteriousness is all-encompassing um, openness. It's not a gatekeeper because there's no gates. It's not an authority because there's no authority. It's not a judge because there's no judge. There's no other to judge. You cannot. It's like a it's like a gentle discernment that receives all in equanimity. It's beautiful. It's like being broken wide open. Into unconditional freedom. That already is the case. Like this tightness that keeps on longing, but it it resisting its brokenness, meaning it's 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 um invalidated, you know, and it's not valid. This this twoness, and it gets broken, and it's just this whatever is left is only an unconditional freedom. An all encompassing openness. So no matter what, so no matter what, right? You know what? Whatever seems to appear materializes and dissipates, like um. Like, you know, the paranoia materializes and dissipates. But there's an enduring what isness that persists. The silence or the whatever can't be called anything is what persists, is what's constant.
oh, thank you. My sister got this. Shirt. Someone said, I like your shirt. My sister got this for me. She's a nurse. So nothing needs to change, but it changes anyway. Yeah. It's going to be changing, but it's also not changing. So again, there's this whatever seems to come and go, but there's always going to be this constancy that no matter comes and goes is this permanence, this constancy that cannot be disturbed what seems to come and go. It's like an enduring constancy that persists no matter what seems to appear. It's a persist, the persistent illusion um, that seems to create this appearance of reality. But it's an illusion. But what remains, you know what I'm saying, when the illusion comes and goes, is this mysterious wonder that never moves that never changes they cannot be conceptualized question can you speak about no one has hurt you and you have never hurt anyone else or if you already have a making the kids food <laughs> no worries um in the absence of all stories, the story, of course, is going to be someone that hurt you and, um, you know, someone that you've hurt and everything. If, if it's seen directly, although there's no one seen directly, it's just innocence at play. But if there's someone that has wronged you and what appears is that you stay away from that character, that's also what is. It does not mean being a doormat. <laughs> Or becoming cruel, you know, a cruel person that will just saying that I'm not doing this. I'm not doing this. That's sociopathic and psychopathic, perhaps. You know what I'm saying? And again, that's also what's appearing. Um, there was this idea before when I was a seeker and uh, when I was this spiritual teacher that um, I could not, um, um, that I would have just to say that it's just, you know, it's not just what's happening. But it's it was just accepted no matter what. And it just stayed quiet, you know what I'm saying? Although other characters were seemingly, um, you know, doing some stuff. So when there's the more filter of spirituality or applied non-duality or even a denial or whatever, nihilism and everything, everything is just authentically as it is. So it says sorry, and also, it also um you know um, will walk away for for example if someone has hurt it. It's not personal. <laughs> yeah, there was a lot of spiritual bypassing before, right? It's just that uh, yeah. Hey, Emerson. Hi, Harvey. Hi. Hey, I, I have a question. Um, sure. Or maybe something that was occurring 
sort of in the mind. Yeah. Um, the when you're talking about constancy and then or ebb and flow and what is, yeah, I, it's sort of like this is what sort of showed up within yeah. the mind. It's like, uh, is it like it's constant? It's both constant and not constant and neither. Exactly. You got it. Okay. Cause, yeah. Yeah. Um, because it's not a position, right? Because yeah. someone will say that it's just never moving, but it's also moving and it's also not moving. It's, and, and it's not, not anything at all. Right. So yeah. it's, it's, yeah. Yeah. So it's, it's all encompassing going back to that word, which I'm really liking, right? It appears as whatever it is. So it's not yeah. a, it's not a, uh, it's not a, um, it's not a figuring out, right? Because it's kind of like, it's really nothing because that's just another idea. Yeah. 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 Cause I, I notice like within a, there's that always that movement to try to like figure it out, but yes, but uh, at the same time, it was like, cause I could feel the sort of, well, is it constant, non-constant? Is it, is it, is it what is, but not what is, but then it's like, it's, it's all of it and none of it. Yes. And then that was, and then it just. Bingo. It's like saying be, yeah. there's no beginning and there's no end. Yeah. 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 yeah it was like. Yeah. Um, then it's direct now, right? Isn't it direct now? Whatever it, it is. Yeah. It, that, yeah. That's, that's perfect because yeah. it's like it's like there's no more middleman yeah that directness yeah. that it was like and then it's like um an unknowable simplicity <laughs> if i could it is that. that's what it is that's yeah. it's 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 gonna get so simple that it cannot be it does not need to be known it does not require anything at all yeah. in its simplicity because yeah. it's direct it's direct yeah yeah and um i, I guess one other thing too and i think another person said that um it's like when you're languaging it as emerson you know the character i this is just an observation i it's like it's be, the clarity has become more clear it's like it's like it's like you're dancing with it and the dancing is no it's like linguistically it's like you're leaving things behind but that's perfect because it's like now it's dancing rather than than settling on any particular word it's just yeah whatever there that works it just it's anyway that i just wanted to point it out because I, even i've listened for a long time and there's that there's a, a i could call it a clearness that's become clearer <laughs> yeah <laughs> you know? one of one one character actually that that i that i really um um basically said to me that um you're a poet the character is a poet yeah. right there's yeah. poetry there right and the poetry comes clearly as it is, it does not have to be choreographed. It does not have to mimic, because yeah. there is this, there is this. If you know, it, it's it doesn't matter. Someone, no one, everything. There's this, there's this crispness when there is just this direct expression of something that already is. Yeah, that it's, does not need anything. Yeah, I, I like it is poetry now. It's like more, it's um. And the poetry has more resonance or it's more, I don't know, it just works. Yeah, because it's not claiming anything. You know what I'm saying? There's no claiming anymore. Yeah. Well, there was no claiming before too, but you know what I'm trying to talk about, right? It's yeah, just this. Yeah, totally yeah, yeah, yeah. Totally. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yet well, what's you. being expressed is the same. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> it's perfect and complete and not even that. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I like the videos that you guys made. I watched it while cleaning. Um, <laughs> it's I, I'm going to post it. You know, um, Harvey and Ere and Zabi and a whole bunch of other had this beautiful video um, that I was watching. I really enjoyed it. Can you please explain what spiritual bypassing is, please? It's using spiritual concepts to avoid things that um, um, because it's not spiritual or something like that. Oh, Casey was there too. Yeah, it's, it's, I can't really explain what it is, but I used to say, um, I can't remember what I said before, 
it can appear in anything, right? It can also appear in 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 any in anything. Like for example, in in uh, in um, it's just what it is, or just it's just really bypassing it. And uh, there's this directness here. There's this seeming authenticity that it will speak up because that's also what it is. Or for example, if somebody is suffering and somebody is, let's just take it a little bit further here. I talk to people that um, because of, you know, extreme seeking, there is uh, depression or even suicidal tendency. And um, I usually, you know, you know, tell them that, you know, I would love to speak to you, but if, if you are suicidal, I think you should go seek some, you know, some, 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 um, some help that I can't do. So that directness, you know what I'm saying? Um, but usually when, when people are, um, you know, in spirituality, they'll, they'll say that it's something, something, you know, it's just a theory and it creates the, this bypassing, but it's also what is. Yes, no more FOMO. <laughs> Thank you, Emerson, for that weekend. That was so great. I feel so much peace right now. And uh, when are you going to do it again? I'm not really sure, but maybe soon. I really enjoy it too. See, it's just something that is just somehow, you know what I'm saying, in those like long formats, there is the expression gets um, just clear, you know what I'm saying? Because it's just, it's almost like hammering that nothing is needed over and over again. And it sometimes it takes into this artistic, poetic expression that it already is. Or sometimes it's really blunt, you know, <laughs> just really direct. It's just what is. Yeah, there's an enjoyment. Yeah, I, I didn't do it for quite a while, so I kind of missed it, to be honest. Like almost two, three months. I can't remember the last time I did it. So Emerson, it's like the beloved is in your DNA. I don't know if you if you can add more to that. Oh, I get it. I get it. I get it. Okay. Um, I don't you usually use that word, but that's okay. So what seems to be this aliveness, this mysterious aliveness without a source, uh, seems to be um indistinguishable. It's interwoven with everything. It's in everything. It's in the touch. It's in the sights. It's in the sounds. It's in the flavors. It transcends everything. It is intrinsic to all that appears, everything that emerges. It's like a harmonious um, amalgamation of the fabric of everything. It's not apart from everything in this appearance, in your room in your bodily sensations, even your temporary thoughts that seems to come and go, it's in everything. It's wow.
So is it like if someone really annoys you pretend it's okay, not a problem, because apparently if you're above that, what is a problem that gets scribed over? Not really. So for example, if there's an annoyance, you'll be like, okay, I'm annoyed. That's what is its directness. This bypassing it is saying that, oh, I'm not annoyed because I'm spiritual. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> So unconditional freedom is basically, um, although, you know what, and this is, again, this is not a state, this is not a story, although there's less of that. It appears that's also okay, but since there's really no separation, that level of annoyance is not like 11 out of 10. You know, it's not like something that, that. Um, but it appears, sometimes it appears, sometimes kind of like, a, yeah. It's it's like a, it's like it's like watching a movie in a movie theater by yourself, and you don't care about what sounds you make <laughs> or what reaction you you make because there's no other. <laughs> I like that. Some paranoid because I'm spiritual. <laughs> That's a complete bypassing, right? My paranoia stems from my spirituality, um, from my practice of this. <laughs> That's also what is. Go ahead, cover. <laughs> that made me laugh. I just want to say it does. My paranoia does stem from. from that. Yeah, it, it does actually. <laughs> So, I get, I get it now. Yeah, <laughs> it was meant as a joke until I realized that it's actually the truth. It's a truth. That, yeah, <laughs> that is actually because of that teaching that I'm completely paranoid. That's right. Yeah, I, yeah. I used to, um, I used to put everything in in that basket too. Right, you know that, mm. um, I'm depressed because, um, of I'm not meditating enough. That kind of thing. So I would have a cause and effect and everything. Right. Yeah. yeah. No, I just want to say that because somehow it has risen with that with those teachings, and uh, oh yeah, yeah. So it's kind of like fun that you know it actually you get paranoid from being spiritual. I don't know, you know. Whatever. You you do actually you, you almost like a, almost like um. So when 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 I was in spirituality, there was a codependency yes, that someone exactly. has the power, right? And whoever has that power. Um, then you have to basically be um, subjected to, you know, whatever is said, yeah. right? It's it's kind of like abusive. Right? <laughs> so it's if you're not being pure, and, you know, it's very unhealthy. It's it's just, very unhealthy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's uh, it's obvious almost. You know, like it's it you it's not freeing. It's imprisoning. Yeah, somehow. the moment that someone is an authority. The moment yeah. that someone yeah. is, you can usually tell when they're, when they're always comparing to others, yeah. when they're always putting down others as not the truth. So yeah. they're holding the authority, even if they claim that they don't have the authority, if yeah. they're positing that over and over again, right? If there's no openness. And, you know, even if they're not claiming that, it's still like um, a, a hierarchy of some sort. That, there's a hierarchy you, of some sort. You know, someone's you, wrong and I'm right. Yeah, that kind of thing. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. Anyway, so I'm paranoid. And that's the paranoia that sometimes happens. It's wrong or right, yeah. wrong or right, wrong or right, you know. Yeah, well, I don't know in this in this character. Or it could be it could be just it could be just kind of like in a purging still, right? You know, seemingly yeah. that's the last thing that goes is the paranoia that I might be wrong or right or something yeah. is listening or whatever because it's almost like the conditioning that seems to happen in in listening to someone, you know, believing yeah. someone. It's like you lose yourself, actually. Exactly. And, yeah. and, and, and <laughs> not in the way that... Paradoxically, <laughs> right? Yeah. <laughs> uh, paradoxically, you're losing yourself. And in the end, I had no sort of like understanding of who, who I was. Yeah. You know? And it becomes so, a belief system of others. Yeah. And then yeah. you, you seem... And that's the power, right? They seem mm -hmm. to have the power. They seem to have the truth. They yeah. seem to have the answers. And yeah. you don't have the answer. Yeah. It's kind yeah. of like an indoctrination and it know. is and anything yeah. that anything that again arrives at a position creates mm -hmm. that dual duality in non-dualism which is yeah. really really kind of like funny right here it is non-duality mm -hmm. and there's going to be tons of contradictions within yeah. that yeah seeming you know ideology yeah, yeah exactly
Yeah. Well, now I know it, then my paranoia stems from spirituality. So, what's that? Now I know. Sorry. Now you know, you're... Now I know yeah, <laughs> yeah. where my paranoia comes from. So that's not very spiritual or passing. It's just seeing clearly as it is. You're like, yeah. oh, yeah. yeah. Exactly. But that's also what it is. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Oh. What do you think about the Spanish football boss who kissed the captain of the women's team on the mouth full force? Is that by passing? Um, that non consensual. <laughs> Rapey? I don't know. Creepy? I, I don't know about that news. So, <laughs> but just based from that sentence, it's yeah, it's kind of a salty, you know, by passing. <laughs> should be reported an abuse of power cecilia then i'm paranoid because the spiritual blah, blah, that will be the title of my story yeah <laughs> then if i if i recognize that's a story yeah of course i'm making a story right now yeah if I recognize this story and stop it, but if I don't recognize or still want to create more, then the title. Usually the recognition the is the created, end. You know what I'm saying? It usually kind of like cuts it short, right? You're kind of like, oh, okay. You know, kind of like what 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 Gunver was basically kind of like saying, oh, okay, I got it. You know, it's like, boom. It's like, it, it there's no cause and effect, but in the story that seems to be what causing it, right? It's just this narrative. So a story is making another story go. And it goes and it goes. And it goes, goes and it goes. And it, and it, it creates this, day. it creates this loop, right? It creates this loop. The loop. And then when you, but there's no you, but when, when it's stopped on you, you see like, okay, that's what it is. It's also what is, right? So it becomes just this clarity. Um, it's like, you know, when 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 I was a teacher, um, although when I was a non-duality teacher and I was teaching everybody kind of like awareness and everything, um, I thought I was in communion with God. So that was a, a codependence that I had, you know what I'm saying? That, uh, you know, um, so I thought that, you know, once I had the power and everything, but it created a, another hierarchy. I had students that did not have that. So I longed and wished for them to experience this union or this clarity or whatever, what I called it at that time, this awareness of my awareness of whatever. So when that seemed to have, you know, when, when it was seen that that was kind of like almost like a, um, not really a bypassing, but another illusion, I did not know how to tell my students that what I thought was, you know, um, reality was just another dream. You know what I'm talking about, right? Yes, yes, yeah. yes, yes. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Been there than that, no. I mean, yes. Yeah. So, so what's being expressed here now is just the directness, right? So I had mm -hmm. a, an imaginary, you know what I'm saying, uh, you know, um, um, idea that, that was hard to, uh, hard to dispel because that was my identity. Yeah. That was the, I'm just going to mute. <laughs> there was this, there was this identification. Um, and that's the reason I don't really use the word God a lot, you know what I'm saying? Because ev if everything already is, there's no separation. An idea that comes out, you know what I'm saying? When there is an idea that comes up, then it creates another confusion mm -hmm. that there's a separation, that there is a, that there's someone in communion and I'm not in communion when there's really no one. Because everything is already as it is. Everything is all-encompassing freedom that's unconditional, that's not separate, inherently complete and whole already, as it is. As it is. I watch your video. Did, and 
Ah, sí, I'm gonna write another story. I watch your <laughs> video of the, the one you said. This is this, 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 this. Yeah. Repeat it. I mean, yeah. It was very uh very cool. Thank you. This, 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 this. <laughs> Thank you, Emerson. Thank you, Cecilia. Um, oh, hi, Corey. Hi, Corey. Hello. Hello. Hi. How I are you doing? Don't... Hello. Yeah. I still don't know how to put the yellow glove up. That's okay. Anything. That's all right. That's all right. Anyway, touch base with you. And I was just wanting you to say if you could something more about... Um, what you were speaking about earlier about hmm, I've forgotten the exact wording, but um, with regards, um, nothing is hidden, nothing is bypassed. Yeah. But, uh, sort of straight off. Yeah, the it's top it's head, it's yeah. straightforward, right? It's very direct. It's just this straightforwardness yeah. that nothing is missing, and everything is all encompassing. There's this constancy that cannot be missed and that constancy is that cannot be named it's also a mystery but it's this already yeah so how would it be like for example um um there are times when you sort of have to avoid truth in like situations you want to be straight out and gut honest but like in situations whereby supposing a friend yeah um um has got a new boyfriend and absolutely madly in love and they show you the photograph and you know, hey, look, and they're so excited and 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 um what do you think you know what do you think um and, and you've got this dreadful feeling in your gut yeah about this person yeah and it's, it's a dear friend and you know how do you handle that um it's going to appear no matter how it is handled It'll just happen, whatever happens. Whatever happens. And you know what? Yeah. The the apparent less of the of, of the kind of like a, when there's more directness, so to speak, when it's seen directness, it appears as whatever. This character is more blunt than ever now. It's kind of it's kind of funny, right? Yeah. Because before, you know, I used to kind of like just be a doormat and not say anything because I was in the guise of a spiritual person. So when there's yeah. no person and there's no spirituality, it will just say. I have a bad gut feeling about that guy. <laughs> and it will just appear as that way. And that's just innocence oh, playing. Yeah. That, I mean, that just sounds wonderful. You yeah. Know, for me here, we'd love to do that. But yeah. then you, you could really offend people. and, and Or not. Or not. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if, if it does, it does. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Right. So it's just, it's just going to appear as no matter what. So it could be saying it or could be not saying it. Both are innocence at play. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. And I just one more quick. Sorry, what were we going to say? Nothing. No. <laughs> That's all there is. No. Um. Just thinking. Um. Oh yeah, it's a practical question. Um. If if people want to email you. Yeah. I tried that today. And something came up on the screen about Microsoft. And oh. I hadn't a clue what that was. Oh. But it was straightforward, like um, an email address direct to you at all. It said you that might that. be that might be um that might be not a good mail. That could be. Um so how come when you say on your on Because on mine your, is Gmail, not Microsoft. Are you Microsoft? I don't your know email? what Microsoft is <laughs> oh okay I'm very, I'm very illiterate with IT stuff i don't know what i am okay the best thing to do if you um there is chat function on the website just chat with me there i usually see it you know there's a chat thing oh, there right. i i haven't checked it lately but i'll start checking it if you if you you know oh. I, yeah just chat there oh like there is on the screen now the, yeah yeah oh i see yeah yeah, okay. Right. Yeah. 
Okay. okay. And then, yeah, tell your son to email me if he wants to email as well. I want to hear from him. Oh, oh he wants to. He's, he's, he's busy, right? With he's work. avoiding it. it, it with this work business, it's avoiding everything. He's, I can see it happening. He's like on a treadmill. Oh, wow. Oh, he's had a... Oh. Yeah, he... <laughs> He can't do the things he's needing to do, and he's just going around in circles. But yeah. All his energy into this work, I can see what's happening. Yeah. And like, actually, you were talking earlier on about your nephew. You know, it's just what's happening. How much? Yeah. Is, how? And as a mother, and and you watch this and you feel it. At least I feel it in my body. What's happening to him? Yeah. Uh, I'm afraid because there's still like somebody here, but um, you know, how much do you? I've told him, and he really, really wants to do it. Yeah. He really, really wants to leave his wife. It's, she's an um, alcoholic that's just so painful, and he, he can't bring himself to, you know, all this is going on, and I've just watched it for so many years, <laughs> and I, I, it's very wearing. And, you yeah. know, how much, how much to do? I just want to let go, but I can't. Yeah. In the story. <laughs> Yeah, to say anything about that. That's that's also what is, right? For example, with my nephew, we just have this agreement. He goes, you know, I'm cool, right? You can tell me anything. And and I just laugh sometimes at what he does because I see it and my brother's oblivious to it. He's like 15 years old. So yeah. he'll say that, um, Dad, can I borrow 16 years old? Dad, can I borrow the car? We have some homework to do. I'm like, homework, huh? That kind of thing. I know what's happening. <laughs> but there's an openness there. If he gets into trouble, then he'll call me. Right. Or call, um, you know, so there's this openness that no matter what, no matter what, there's this there's this openness here. And that's what's presented. But I don't okay. usually um, get entangled with what is uh, seemingly happening there. There's just this openness. Yeah. Yeah, because there's not so much. So much of a sense of a person there like there is here. Yeah. So it's a lot harder not to get entangled. Yeah. And that's yeah. also it. That's also it. That love. That's 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 how beautiful it is, right? It it's it does not reject that. That's how you know that's what what can never be separated. What already is, what's already the case is also that. And it's and it's just wow. That's the motherly love. You know what I'm saying? It's also it. And the worries also it. But at the same time, there's no separate son that needs to be worried about. It's also it. There's no separation from son and mom. It's just what is. And if something comes up here to say something or to encourage or to point the way. That's also what is, yeah. That's mm -hmm. also what is. There's no out of it. There's no out of it. It's not. It's not excluding, or anything. There seems to be little gaps and not many gaps. <laughs> <laughs> and that's also it. <laughs> that's just a concept. I know. Yeah. I know. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Yeah, so there's never really been any separation. It's just whatever it is, it's just what is. Kind of like that that meeting that we have was beautiful because you know you guys were both in the same thing. And I don't know if it was seen, but there was really no no separation. It was just this love. Yeah, that can't be talked about, but we're talking about it anyway. Yeah. Yeah, so like you say, with with a photograph. What comes up will come up, um, yeah. whether it's the gut truth. Oh, God, you know. <laughs> oh, I don't like the look of him. <laughs> or, <laughs> or, oh, yeah, well, um, 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 <laughs> a bit of, little bit of um, humming and hiring. Mm -hmm. um, oh, yeah, I, I, I'm sure. I'm sure that you'll make him, he'll make you very happy thinking my goodness afterwards what on earth did I say that for it's not true <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. So, yeah mm. 
that's also it. <laughs> but call call me, message me if you want to talk, you know, and yeah, we'll definitely yeah. chat. Yeah. Yeah. yeah thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Corey. Idea of God perpetuates feeling of separation. Yeah. But that's also it. You know what I'm saying? Idea or no idea. It's just a lot of heaviness. There's always going to be um, for the sake of clarity, right? Because the moment that that name is invoked, um, it creates a belief or a non-belief. So right away, it separates what cannot be separated. What cannot, what is obviously constantly this. How long is this meeting? Oh, sorry. Did I go over time? <laughs> I'll give it five more minutes. If there's any questions, um, I will. If not, it's usually 90 minutes, two hours. It doesn't matter. Can I just talk? Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Um... <laughs> Same thing where a thought comes up and <laughs> it goes <laughs> away. Uh, yes. We were talking about the um, sort of the dilemma of being uh, brought up in a religious yeah. uh, background. Yeah. And if at a very young age you're told there's there's hell and heaven, and yeah. you have to behave yeah. a certain way. Yeah. If not, you go to hell. So it's so deep that there's a kind of you you watch yourself like a, a camera, surveillance camera. Yeah. So that you you, you don't sin. You know, and then you you do it yourself. No need for other people watching you <laughs> because you learn yeah. you learn to watch all your actions and then when you feel you do something wrong, you like desperate for, for you know uh, to to get out of jail. <laughs> yeah, yeah, of course. So, and, and but that fear can drive your life. Oh yeah. Uh, well, you if know you... that fear and, and then you and then also you have to be saved, you know. Yeah. You're loved unconditionally, but then you have to. to it's like you know, it's so. Oh, it's it is. It is crazy. But I think that's. And and again, it's just it's. And again, if you look at you know, again, this is just a story, right? Historically, if you look at it, to control, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, um, people, there's either the government. If you do wrong, you go to jail. If the government doesn't get you, the church will. Yes. So it's a fear. But it's it, like a fear thing, right? You know, like it's just a way of, of this and that and you, everything. Yeah. If you yeah. buy the buy the ID. And then it and then again, if not the church, the, then you. I forgot. Yeah. I then mean, it becomes hell is what hell yeah. is much worse than jail. Jail is oh, just you know, my goodness. When when you, when you, I was when I was suffering. When I was suffering, I used to say when I was like, when I thought I lost the apparent awakening or something, I used to say Dante's Inferno had nothing on me <laughs> the because I was in Dante's Inferno had nothing on me. You know what I'm saying? Because uh... I thought I was in the lowest rung of hell, so to speak, um, because it was quite painful. And it's not it will just repeat. Right. There's this 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 seeming pattern of duality here of this and that right or wrong, um, hell or heaven. Um, peace or, or war, you know, and that mm. seems to appear. So when it's seen that there is just no one behind it. So when there is just this, this, um, when it's seen that the narrative is false, there's no more intoxication of something or implementation of hell because it just creates this loop, right? There's loop. 
this this intoxication of just what I spoke about. Yeah. Oh yeah. It's just like a, a storm. Yeah. It is a storm, yeah. And yeah. then it's seemingly, you know, what I'm saying it seemingly um, you know, dissipates at night. It's gone. In yes. the morning again, there's just another intoxication that appears and there's this um, you know, it's just so wow, right? Because it seems to create this appearance of 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 something that that um that segregates. You know what I'm saying? When there's no segregation. Because if there is no segregation, if there's no separateness, there is no this or that. There's no wrong or bad. So what seems to materialize and dissipates is just what is in this illusory appearance of segregation. So for example, when there's this, when there's this kind of like what seemingly appears as a thought, for example, and it just becomes this appearance, appearance that seemingly appears and dissipates, appears and dissipates. It's kind of like, it's kind of like watching and getting mesmerized by the shore and then holding on to the shore. And then you get petrified when it moves back to the ocean. Yes. Yeah. It's, it's that fear of, of yeah. losing th th this control because there's a belief that there's control. <laughs> You know, it's like there's there's so much fear, and when when you talk, uh, like Harvey was saying, it's like a dance, you know. Yeah. And when, because I don't know poetry, but the, the dance I can relate to. Yeah. Because when then you see, it's a wave or or whatever, but then yeah. this, but then the dance with you is you you can't get to any position because whatever yeah. you say. It's just, it's yeah. constantly moving and shifting and a yeah. shifting sand. So you can't, you can't say, oh yes, that's it. Oh, oh yeah, no, yeah, no. yeah. So because the moment um, that it becomes that's it, then you will lose it. Yes, but even what you're saying, you can't, it, yeah. that's how it is. Yeah. And then there's, okay, that's, that But losing it is also this. <laughs> of, course, of course of course it is yeah. <laughs> and I loved it uh, the talk with Corey because it, it's just so beautiful you know um, yeah I love talking to Corey too yeah, yeah. And, and and it's just as beautiful her side being unsure and, and looking for confirmation or, or you know uh a backup and and there's a, and, and one is not better than the other it's just both just springing yeah. forth like that uh, um yeah yeah it's, anyway, it's, it's whatever it is is it's what it is already right so <laughs> and it's and it's, it's and it's hard to fathom that it's hard to accept that but that's also okay it the it, it's not about the acceptable or the unacceptable because unacceptable is unacceptable are appearances of what cannot be accepted or what cannot be rejected. It already wow. is. Yeah. You're on form. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Every time I do those weekends, it's it it, you know, the languaging, you know what I'm saying? Because I speak for a long, long time. So and I've been doing nonstop one on ones. <laughs> That's wow. probably what it is. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you so much for not moving to Patreon. Oh, you're welcome. Um, yeah. If people can, people can, people cannot. I just don't want to put a paywall at the moment. You know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, thank you. In contrast to so much other stuff, it's beautiful that the illusion of time doesn't interrupt this lovely conversation. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, John. Thanks, Emerson, and I'll see you. It is just what is happening, yeah.
Well, thank you so much, everyone. That was a load of fun. Uh, we'll see